What is this abomination? Our salvation. The Edict shudders with anxiety. This work profanes the Machine God. Mars will forgive us. The fate of the entire galaxy hinges on the psychic insight of the Codex. With it, we can track the Prime Seeds and hunt each Reaper down. How do we proceed? I will require a number of seeds from a single strain of the Bloom. With those in hand, I can attune the Codex to the strain's psychic stench, tracking its most potent source amongst the stars. Query. Do the Prime Seeds within these Reapers emanate above all others? Precisely. The Codex will hone in on this power within the Reaper. From there, we will hunt them down one by one. Why do I get the feeling you are enjoying this? If I am right, and I always am, each strain will wither without its Reaper to tend it, and we score another victory for humanity. This is no game to take pleasure in, Fakir. That's Inquisitor to you. We share in this sacred duty, Purifier. Would you deny me the brief satisfaction of a job well done? Noted, Inquisitor. But this job is not finished yet. It's done. I've attuned the Codex Toxicus to the strain. I can feel the Reaper's vile presence within. For any other citizen of the Imperium, this act would bring a death sentence. Yet you- Yet I what? Skirt heresy? Do you think I enjoy the strain this task requires? This is my duty, Purifier. When this Reaper manifests, I trust you will do yours. Your knights must be ready, Commander. The time has come. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saga and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Legendary Grandmaster mode. It is time to continue the campaign. So, I did a little fast forwarding, quite intentionally, because uh, I want to not drag this uh, Let's Play out too much. What we did in the meantime to catch you up wasn't that much, so don't get too excited. Uh, I just did a few um, Chaos Gate missions and I simply didn't want you guys uh, to sit through Chaos Gate mission after Chaos Gate mission after Chaos Gate mission. Everything's fine, we uh, won all of them and got a tiny bit of equipment out of it. But other than that, I just saved the, the requisition really. What I did though is I used our Bloom seed in order to uh, build the Codex Malicus, which was the first introduction that you've seen all of the heresy that's going on and with the codex malicus you can now take individual seeds each color and start to find their quote-unquote reaper their source of yeah existence and we have just done the first of them it's really quick you only need like 10 days to research them i'll show you really quick down here in the menu uh, I figured, you know what, we have a lot of yellow seeds, so might as well start with the yellow uh, reaper called Necrosis, right? And then uh, you can now theoretically go uh, through all of uh, the others, but apparently you need to do them one, one by one. So Necrosis is the first one that we have completed. With Necrosis, apparently a new, uh, a new mission has spawned, at least that's, yeah, down here. At least that's uh, what it uh, says. So that's an unlimited mission. We can go there whenever we want. Clearly it is all about those necrosis seeds and there is some decent uh, loot plus a decorruption of that planet, which is fantastic. I like, uh, to, you like to see that, that's good. That is awesome. So we're going to do that, but before we can do it, I'm on the way uh, to uh, kind of prevent uh, festering of of more bloom uh, to happen and that's where we are currently traveling so you maybe missed around 50 days worth of just flying around not much has really happened in that time other than me 
yeah, flying through the galaxy. Uh, the other noticeable event is uh, we lost our Ojorium once again in a in a fight uh, with another battle cruiser and I upgraded the gun batteries now to level two. We're continuing to upgrade them so that we're stronger in uh, gun batteries. So that's really all that happened. And without further ado, we're moving uh, right to that mission into a warp storm. Uh, thanks to our Geller field, uh, we don't have any update. of course one day left shoot all right can't go there which means we might as well go here now that's an unfortunate event not much I can do about that majorium is uh, back again and operational which is fantastic we're continuing to upgrade the gun batteries at this point because i want to make sure that in our um, skirmishes with uh, the enemy vessels that we do have the higher weapon level and getting it up to three is cool but getting it up to four is chef kiss good okay so a couple of stars here with five so we need to stay uh, close to them two four 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 a difficult cluster building up uh, back there as well all right analysis morgellus the corroded prince located demonic entity occupies the form of a flag hulk of level you sound uncertain, Dominus. The foul creature is here, as I predicted. Available data is fractious. Yet we have faced them before. Please elaborate for our Inquisitor's benefit. Classification, demon engine, murder abomination. Foul defilement of the perfect work of the machine god. What of its weaknesses then? Weaponry? More cannon designation, heretical. Data access restricted. Cleaner designation. Rudimentary. Analysis self-explanatory. Power systems designation. Perversion. Illogical construct. Data access restricted. Shielding designation. Unknown. Data unavailable. It seems we've touched on a sensitive point for the tech priest. Indeterminate. Restriction boundaries are undefined. Access response remains obstinate. No matter. It sounds as fitting a vessel as any to reap the strain of decay and rust. The hunt begins on your order, Commander. Oh yeah. Good. We're fighting one of these big bad boys. I think these are the end bosses, so to speak. So we're going to bring our A team to that. Let me uh, set it up. We're going to revert back to our um, old our old structure i just want to by the way also show you i want uh, to finish the fire support team they are currently at uh, sitting at rank eight and then i still want to uh, fight with the stun team so that's not off the table i want to showcase these as well but for the time being let's focus on our strongest team bring our best foot forward and i will do exactly that all right here we go the finest of uh, the fine our prime team, Jim, Anders, Grell, and uh, Linus will go and perch uh, these unclean uh, clean demons. So as for the stratagems I'm running willpower, we got two extra uses, which means theoretically, um, if I don't use any of the other uh, uh, gems, this is three times full uh, willpower. And with uh, whooping 22 willpower, even, no wait, uh, 21 willpower here on Grell. That's a lot of willpower that we're getting back. Uh, we got Tide of Shadows for full purification and full resistance. We got Strength of Spirit, which for this team is essential. And then just in case we're going into a prolonged firefight for whatever reason, we're taking High Sanctuary. I'm not trying to use that. I'm trying to use Strengths of Spirit a couple of times and then 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe we can one turn that mission. Who knows? Um, as for the equipment, a short look at Jim. Uh, gave him uh, the Terminator plate uh, that allows him to continue casting even if he's out of willpower which is fantastic because with 36 hit points we have a lot of uh, a lot of willpower available plus he can be healed so it's even better then we got uh, a high six damage uh, bolter for him uh, with a lot of crit damage on top of it. We got uh, recanter not fully upgraded could be one damage more but uh, with uh, the nice little extra crit damage we're already looking at eight base uh, damage so that's fantastic. Uh, the disruptor skull and a bit of an incense. Um, uh, we got a very very uh, well equipped enders who is running final justice. Four base damage doesn't look like much, but it does have an additional nine crit damage. So we're looking at 13 and it has a very high crit chance. Um, so that weapon in itself is crazy good. Uh, you just need to crit with it in order to make it work. But with that crit chance and our stratagem, uh, that, that won't be a problem. So we're looking at 13 pre-buffs, uh, post-buffs, I think 16. Uh, we got uh, a armor on for an extra passive slot, uh, put uh, this in, uh, which were, were the passive uh, stuff that we have um, collected. Got a nice 20% crit for melee attacks and then 3 crit damage. This is unfortunately not level 3, but it's okay, I mean good enough for now. And we got an extractor scroll because simply because I need bloom seeds and the extractor scroll always tended to be very good at what they are supposed to do, which is extracting. So with that super dope hammer, uh, I assume that Enders will just completely nail it. Then we got Grell uh, with a relatively straightforward um, equipment. Uh, the Apostar's Woe has the passive ability to allow shooting of um, individual body parts. Uh, comes in at 4 damage but quite a bit of extra crit damage due to uh, the uh, body parts uh, shoot off which is oftentimes extra stun or armor break or whatnot. So it's actually a really good um, weapon when it comes to that. Uh, warding staff, extra uh, willpower and an armor that is giving him 7 armor. That was one of the juggernaut armors that we found. Um, I contemplated whether or not uh, the willpower armor would be good for Grell. But to be fair, we're just refilling the willpower and seven armor base plus then um, four, five uh, Aegis on top of it means that uh, Grell is quite safe and secure, which I like for my tanky support. Got another tanky support here, speaking about which, uh, Linus, uh, who is running Traitor's Dew. Uh, that's a five base damage, but three extra crit damage bolter, which I uh, which I like. I mean, it's a, it's good very solid uh, bolter. Um, we gave them Vindication of Glory. I got another another uh, melee weapon that would allow for longer um, for longer buffs and maybe we're, we're actually going to go for that in, instead uh, because this I'm a bit worried about uh, the low willpower. So just want to showcase uh, uh, the Vindication, which is a nice weapon as well. So uh, we're having uh, four base damage plus four against organics and then plus three from her skills. So that would be 11 points of damage for a support character that is great. I think more appropriate for now might be this here. Um, uh, we can't upgrade the biomancies, which then might be resorting to that simply because the biomancies last one additional turn. Uh, we still have a good bolter and for now we just don't have the seeds uh, for a level 2 weapon. In terms of armor, we got something with a lot of resistance. Uh, I thought about other options there are a couple of uh, of uh, options down here with three extra willpower which might not be the worst idea to be entirely honest the other option is to give a willpower staff uh, but we only have one staff so this here isn't too bad 
Uh, let's compare the armors. We got four arm, one fifty percent resistance. Resistance is super good. Don't get me wrong. Uh, versus N6 uh, hit points, which will make them very tanky. Versus a little bit less uh, hit points, a little bit less armor, uh, but three willpower. Yeah, let's go for this at the moment uh, because I mainly. Uh, need them. That kind of brings me to the realization that we still need a good level 3 arm uh, uh, terminator armor with a lot of with a lot of willpower. Do we have anything here? Like this isn't bad either. 3 max willpower. More movement speed, 2 max willpower. And focus, which I think the focus is actually quite uh, good, allows them to trigger uh, their passive effects more often. I tell you what, I'm giving up the three armor in exchange because I can regain three armor, but I'm giving that up in exchange to having a decent amount of willpower, more movement speed, uh, but the focus in particular will be good because it triggers uh, the AP regaining when uh, enchanting and it also triggers the uh, self enchanting. So that's the team that we're currently running. Uh, might need to work on an armor for Linus in the medium in the medium term but uh, for now let's give it a go what is that i smell ah more grease to anoint my gears commander the poison of a prime seed radiates below this is most certainly our target more from above? <laughs> Your numbers mean little. Ten or ten thousand, all must crumble and fall before me. Tactical analysis. Weaponry is limb-driven. Prioritize its extremities. That voice? A daughter of the false Omissaya? Why do you not come down and join my menagerie? I will teach you such things your machine god has kept secret from you. Blasphemy! No? A pity. Perhaps you will see the light once I shear those flimsy guards from your eyes. Uh, precarious heights. Your Grey Knights will be unable to climb up after being knocked from the precarious heights. Uh, retreat and deploy terminators or mind your knights positioning okay what does he do 188 hit points wow okay good well hmm spread attack uh, sets a hazard 30 feet uh, deals one damage structures decay uh, effects blinding her knights uh, grabs a nearby knight, throwing them up, uh, dealing damage. Avenging turret defense. Morgelius can command to corrupt the turret, fire nearby knights. Okay, rust and ruin. Morgelius attacks uh, the rusted platform, causing a section to become unstable for next turn. Pearl Garter. Morgelius can grab Gerda targets, a blast of an area 2. Range 4. Okay. Eunice is immune to. Nullify, bleed, incapacitated, pin, trace, dominated, panic, blind, plague. Mo hmm. Okay. Entropic shield. Whilst active, Morgelius cannot be crit. Hmm. How do we deactivate that? When attacked with a ranged attack, two damage. With an active claw. Alright, 
damage four, armor break two, six damage. Precision targets. What do we have? Less movement speed. Uh, can be vulnerable. This here is important. Target is no longer immune to crits. But how do you destroy? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're supposed uh, we're finding out. For starters, everybody gets more crit. And we're all moving over My here. Alright, cool. Well, that's not too bad. I think, uh, since we have that bolter, let's Psy Bolt and see if we can remove uh, the immunity. Continuously being immune to crits. How do we remove the entropic shield? All right, so can we disrupt him? Can be disrupted. What does that even mean? What are the autos? Is that passive disrupted? Good, he cannot claw shield. Cool. And I guess he cannot be stunned either. Ooh, he can be stunned. Is he immune to being stunned though? No, he's not. Sorry for just needing to read through all of this, but it's the first time that uh, I'm going through this. So, we're essentially... applying a big fat stun there. This should stun him. Good. It appears you staggered it. This might be a good chance to strike at its upper body. Four strike and could make it vulnerable. I want to take away the immunity. Is he still immune? Okay. On my 
way. Vile, you think to undo my great work, but it is no matter. The machine exists to serve the plague god. Nascent attack patterns emergent. The defensive battery is ours. I forgot. Uh, we want. Okay, I I see how we can do that. Iron arm. And uh, warp speed. Alright, in which case, you brother need to get three actions. I am here to serve. One. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Commander, clear our brothers from that section before it collapses. Which section? I think he means this section here. the Emperor. Unleash me. Giving you one AP, very costly though. Good, what is he doing? Our holy place will not be stained by your touch. Good. Crit. With the hopes that at some point we will get through with it. Secondly, Tides of Shadow. Thirdly, High Sanctuary. Standing ready. That's fantastic. Now we need more yes, commander. more uh, iron arm biomancy. 
plus two stun is too good to not take it, and I think we're going to give it to you. Crush them with might the My focus and we got me. Iron Arm by Mancy ourselves. Okay. Vulnerable, less movement speed. Let's see if we can kind of go through the weapons and essentially get him down that way. What is your will? Six. And we're down to three. Yes, Commander. Vengeance. Ah, big fat fall down. Lovely. My blade is yours. Good, he's becoming vulnerable, which is fantastic. Santo. But unless we find a great way of getting rid of his uh, his vulnerability, uh, his immunity, I don't really see how we can get through him. Take this, you're disrupted. And take this. You're further disrupted. This game grows tiresome. I will bury you all and be done with it. What is your will? I don't think that the whole vulnerability thing stacks over time. at least works.
I strike true. Conclusion to the version of the machine. A hard fought battle, Commander. Worthy of note in the Hall of Champions. Are you quite finished patting yourselves on the back? This was a hard fought victory, Inquisitor. The Commander deserves some praise. This banter is irrelevant. The Prime Seed should be extracted and worded for containment. Our team performed so, so well. The only regret that I do have is the guy was immune to crits. Let's hope the others are not because... And we would have dealt so, 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 so much more damage with crits. We always needed to like stun him before we could land one crit and then that one crit was sort of okay. Could have optimized the damage a little bit more. What do we have here? Hailer Skull. Uh, that is fantastic. We're going to take the high level version. Here we got Focus, Enhanced Mobility. Don't need that. Here we got um, an Affliction Blaster. Salvation. Now, I don't think that that is really good. The bleed uh, stuff, I, I don't uh, like that. But we got ourselves Hailers uh, level 3. That's a good upgrade. Now we can't get any XP. It is done. Your prognosticars signal a weakening in the strain. With a single stroke, we have ended its spread. A victory, yet we are not Fenrisians. We have no time for revelry while the Scourge remains. Accurate. Four strains of the Bloom remain. Yes, yes. There is still much work to be done. Let us not forget that self-professed Warden of the Bloom, Cadex. He will not sit idly while we wreck his master's plans. We will be ready. Query. What of the Prime Seed? Analysis suggests it is an artifact of significant power. I have already put a mind to that very matter, Dominus. With sufficient study, it could be reworked into a tool for our crusade. After the proper cleansing rituals, of course. Fortuitous. Unburdened by command, the Brother Purifier is available to assist you. Oh yes. Quite. Exactly what I was thinking, Dominus. I will send for you, Ektar, when you are needed. Ektar is the master purifier. His mind is, I want to purify shit. Alright, so what does that mean for the research? We got a lot of seats. I think we're next up going to locate Poxes. The Baleful Edict, you sound as if all, all right. Your own, my I call in, yes, if you like. I must return to work. Nurgle toils. I think we're okay for now. I think we're okay for uh, for now. Yes, I remember. Yes, I Yes, yes. 
I envy our brothers their so, place on the battlefield, hmm. Commander. Can we upgrade everything? Hail. Uh, for instance... Nothing requires yellow seeds, so I suppose... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we got something. So it still costs you yellow seeds, but I don't know if there is a way to now gain yellow seeds or if they have become... Well, there are still yellow seeds over here. There are plenty. Okay, well, apparently nothing has changed. Level 5, level 5, which means we're going to stay there, just in case another blooming happens. That big fat boss of Nurgle was a tough one. Alright, bloom spawn. Okay. Turn around and do that. A little bit of a bloom spawn here, which is like what? Servitors and two blue bloom spawn. Green bloom spawn there. And green there. Hmm. Listen. If we fly here. We might be able to actually get a couple of uh, those. Servitors are good. Also decent weapons here and uh, grenades, that's fine. Uh, that's okay, I suppose. More servitors. I like what I'm seeing here as well. And that's potentially a bit too far away. This is the quickest route back, so let's immediately do that. Of course, we're encountering the Death Guard. Alert! Enemy vessel traveling in unusual pattern. Evasive maneuvers? Not a staple tactic of the Death Guard. The planet's voxcoms are awash with ritualistic nonsense. A distraction. Commander, there is some foulness at work below. We must reach the surface at once. Yes, we are the hammer. We definitely are the hammer. Enemy cruiser destroyed and all we took are a couple of wounds, but we did not lose anyone, right? No, it seems to be impossible. To lose any uh, anyone, our battle brothers are just too well equipped. But we are here, and we could try to win this mission with only three units for more requisition, or we're saying effort and uh, are doing it the normal way. I could do it with three units, but I want to purposefully show you the the ranged support team once more before we're uh, before we're going for our other team so we're actually going in with uh, four units um, prime team gets their well-deserved rest good and for our fire support team they've uh, grown quite a bit in in the meantime so i really like how strong they have uh, become by themselves so we do have epi who's le uh, leading them we got as purchasers zero And Waspinator. Right, Waspinator was position two and uh, Zero was Zabin. position three. And we got as an interceptor Ubuntu. Cool. So same team as before. Let me get their equipment fixed. 
All right, to round up today's episode, just going through the equipment uh, real quick. Uh, we got the silver bolt uh, bolter for our front uh, line together with a massive halberd disruptor because it is a very good uh, school. The other alternative is the marker and incense plus the ability to cast as much as uh, they want. The main change has happened with our putrators got some extra uh, gear um, on them so that Vespinator will crit more often and he can also carry one grenade which is quite nice. Uh, Ellen's Oath is a super good weapon. We got um, a tier 2 armor that allows to have even more grenades so we're rocking 8 grenades um, on zero chance which is a crazy amount. It's just it, it really is crazy. And uh, he now also does have, uh, is close to support fire, I should say. So we're not going to see that really, but the idea would be that they are getting support fire at some point, and uh, then that uh, that will naturally trigger as well. Um, and then for Ubuntu, I changed uh, his staff because as nice as it was, and sometimes it gave Aegis, which I suppose is uh, not too bad because he does have that extra armor here, so Aegis is uh, worth four. Um, the Stoic Blade would allow him to to uh, parry two attacks, but that is only melee, so now that I'm thinking about it, maybe... Hmm, here's an idea. Here is an idea, maybe I'm changing it. If we give him the warding staff, there is a 50% chance that he triggers. And he's not really supposed to like melee. I, I uh, genuinely doesn't, do not want that. So what we are going to do is 50% extra focus, which means the staff will always trigger an auto Aegis, which means he's effectively running around with four extra armor. Uh, because that happens every single round. That's a cool combination. We haven't seen that. Uh, got an upgraded Hala School now, which has a little bit bigger area and uh, enrages the enemies and has more hit points. I think the hit points were never really the problem. I would have rather wanted more charges on it. But no, that is uh, the team. We're going to see them, I think, one last time because from an experience perspective, I believe we're almost there, yeah, 150 XP here, around 150 XP here, 50 XP here, and around 150 XP here. So we're getting a lot of experience as it stands uh, right now. I think this year will be no, uh, no difference. We can potentially level all of uh, them up in the next mission. For that, I thank you. We have uh, officially killed the first of five end bosses and I am quite excited about it. It's day 770 and we're doing very well so far. Thanks a lot for watching. If you appreciate uh, the content, leave a comment and a like down below uh, and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.